I'm Marco with MacFlies at Tailwater Outfitters, and today we're tying the Critter Crab. Today the hook we'll be using is a size 4 all-purpose Uncle hook, and we're going to start the thread at the eye and work our way kind of towards the back. Um, we're going to go onto the bend of the hook just a smidge. Kind of clean this up. We're going to go a little bit. The reason I like to use this hook because um, the bend is kind of more straight and that's kind of what I'm going for. I, what I kind of like for what I'm about to tie on. Alright, so to kind of get that kind of get that to the little bit behind the barb of the hook. And the next thing we're going to be tying in is some Estaz. So we're only going to use a couple turns of this. Um, so what I like to do is I'll put it a little bit higher um, onto the hook and then I'll capture it and kind of thread it down the hook. Get it down there a little bit. So what this is going to do is just kind of be like a hot spot, uh, egg sac, whatever you kind of want. Um, I just use it as like kind of a hot spot. All right, tie that in. Then we're going to palmer this around. And it's going to be a little tricky since we go went up the bend of the hook a little bit. That's all right. Um, so she, you'll she kind of feel it on that first turn. It'll kind of slip. That's all right. Let's keep going. Tie this in a little bit. Just a couple turns. Nothing too crazy. All right. Then we're going to capture this. All right, clean this up. And at this point, you should be about where the barb of the hook is. And the next material we're going to be tying in is some shrimp crab eyes. Uh, just two, nothing too crazy. I was laying flat. I don't want them coming off the back end. I want them kind of coming up. So it's kind of going to kind of go with the bend of that uh, hook. Um, you don't want it too far out. Um, I would say just this, just a little bit past the Estaz. All right, tie that in. And then we're gonna do something to where it kind of props them kind of out to the side a little. So we're gonna take this eye, kind of pull it back, and then just kind of wrap some threads around them. Uh, just don't do too many because you don't want too much bulk, but you just want it just enough to where they're not like sitting next to each other, but they're also not like too far out. So that's one. Um, they don't have to be symmetrical. Nothing in uh, nature is symmetrical, I would say, in the ocean. Um, all right, a couple wraps around. Do a little wrap around. All right. And as you can see, it kind of splayed out to the side a little bit. It's kind of how we want the uh, fly to be. All right, we're going to take this, snip them off, toss that to the side. And we're going to kind of clean this up, um, kind of make a little bit of a ramp um, just for the next material that we're going to tie in. All right. This is cleaned up. This is what it should look like. All right. And then we're gonna tie in some strips of rabbit. All right, so what I did was I kind of just cut little pieces like this. And what it'll do is how we're gonna tie them in is kind of splayed out to the side, look to make, look, make it look like a little bit of crab claws. Just like that. We're gonna, tie, we're gonna tie in one at a time, all right? So how I want these, so I want them flat. I don't want them like splayed up. I want them flat. All right, so we're going to tie in. Like I said, your thread should kind of be like at the barb. If it's a little further uh, forward, that's fine. And then we're going to capture this. Do a couple wraps to lock it in. See how it lays kind of flat on its side? All right. Just like that. All right, then we're going to come to the other side, do the same thing. 
they're not um, same length, that's all right, no worries. You should be working with something like this. Okay, and we're gonna have a little bit of uh, rabbit strip left over on this side. Just kind of clean this up. All right, get it rolling. Like I said, make another little, little, another kind of ramp. Then we're gonna tie in some foxy brush. Uh, we're gonna be kind of sparse with this. Nothing too crazy. Just to give it. Just to kind of cover up some stuff, um, you're, you'll see that there's be kind of some threads showing. That's all right, because um, with the blue thread, it kind of blends in with what we're going to be doing. All right, so on a couple turns, uh, palmer this back. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Um, here we go. So one full turn, and then we're gonna do two. It kind of like. On that second uh, wrap, you kind of want to space that a little bit and then do another turn. All right, separate these fibers. Okay. Gonna capture this, all right, and lock it in. Some, some good wire right there. All right, then we have that little tag in. Kind of clean this up. And then you can take your scissors, kind of pluck it out a little bit. All right. And the next thing we're gonna tie in is some plain, nothing too crazy. Presentation eyes. All right, uh, a couple turns here, a couple turns there. I want a little bit of space between um, the eye of the hook and the um, presentation eyes. Just gonna do some parachute wraps, lock it in, cinch it, do whatever you do. All right, now we're gonna go back. And then we're gonna flip the fly facing up. And we're gonna tie in some EP fibers. All right, we're gonna put them on top. I like to put them on top because sometimes when you put it on bottom, it doesn't lay um, kind of how you want it. And with this fly, I want it to lay completely flat. All right, so we're gonna go one time over, two, three. Um, I like to I like to have the blue and the tan just gives it like a, maybe a little bit of a blue crab pattern uh, blue crab kind of style um, nothing too crazy you don't want to add all those like million bajillion colors that the blue crab has and that's fine um, just kind of keep it simple and the next thing we're gonna tie in is some um, legs uh, some people what they like to do is some people what like to do is uh, they'll they'll make the whole body and then and then like kind of uh, tie these in after after by just hand tying them. I don't like to do that. I like the way they come out when I tie them in myself, and I just think it has a little bit of durability. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this around, and you can do kind of any colors. I just like to stick with the more natural like blues and tans and a little bit of olives for this fly. All right, then we're gonna tie that in. Come around, get that in there. And then it's really important right here to just kind of clean up the materials, uh, just simply because it's gonna be a tight, it's gonna be tight right here. Uh, so you don't wanna have too much bulk and not get all the materials you need in. So next we're gonna tie in the tan color. Kind of, Kind of same thing, just tie this in. I do one, two, and three. Straighten it out. And uh, you don't want them 
you can for this fly you can have them kind of stack close if you don't want them stack close or not as many colors that's all right um i like to just divvy it up two and two Next blue. Stuff gets a little, a little slippery at times. Um, let me just pull this back. Gonna lock it in there. All I'm doing with that is just taking both sides and kind of pulling them back and forth. And then once I have both of those X wraps, I'll just lock that in. Pull this around. And you can tie this, this fly in whatever colors you want. I stick generally to this pattern or this color um, just because it's a favorite of mine and it produces. I don't know, fishes the way I want it to, but um, like I said, you can add, mix, mix, match, do whatever it is. All right. And once we get once we get closer to this, um, the end of the fly, right at the head, you'll see it's kind of it's pretty stacked up. Um, so it's gonna get a tight on you. Just, just kind of be. Um, careful because you don't want to mix these fibers together by accident. You don't, you don't want to accidentally tie in the leg into the EP fiber. Something, just stuff like that. Uh, so just be super careful. Um, you're gonna have to kind of you're gonna have to kind of mess around with it and stuff. And then once you get to the end, what I like to do is just make sure that's all secured. I'll pull this all this back and I'll tie that right there. Tie this in. Then I'll go to the front. You got a weed guard if you want. Um, this one does not have a weed guard at the moment. And then whip finish. I'll do a double. All right. And then what you'll have here is big uh, broomstick kind of thing. So now we're gonna have all this, we're gonna have to clean up. Um, also what I like to do before I do that, this kind of bottom end of that foxy brush, just kind of trim up. So I kind of like lay my scissors on the fly and do that. Um, just just kind of helps it lay a little bit flatter um, on the ground. All right, then we're gonna have all these legs right here. You kind of want to just, as much as you can, separate as much fibers as you can from this and just a little quick tip um i'll take my hackle pliers and i'll clip them so what it does it has that weight it kind of just keeps it down and out of the way so how i taught how i'll do this is pull them up kind of separate them and then i'll stick my scissors between flatten them out and then i'll take these and I'll pull them up I'll, like this and kind of separate this, this foxy brush from its side. I'll come up and I'll lay my scissors here against the eye. I'll lay it like that and I just trim away. You should get that kind of like that little bit of crabbish body. And then what you do, can do also is just pinch, kind of pinch them together, kind of kind of round it out, get that little dime body, you know. All right, same thing on this side. Pinch, kind of round out. If you get some, some foxy brush in there, it's all right, I mean, one, one uh, one fiber is not going to do much. If you want to get it even, 
Um, just kind of trim this up a little bit. And then, and then you don't want them crazy long, but since these are like that two tone, the sight cast legs, um, you, what you could do is, what I like to do is right after it starts to change colors is where I'll cut it. So I'll give that a little bit of blue tip, cut it. Clean this up, and there you have the Critter Crab. All the materials for this fly you can get at tailwatershop.com. We'll have a link in the description for that below.